Welcome to Harry Potter and the Anxious Millennials, a show where we delve week by week into each chapter of the Harry Potter series. Okay. This week, we read chapter 31 called The Third Task. Adam, what happens in this chapter? You finally are doing it. You're finally I'm doing finally, a task. I'm finally you doing got a task. one. Um, the third task happens. Great. And doesn't end. And that and that's well, all. No, nothing of note. That's really it. <laughs> nothing, I really don't have much to say about this chapter. I feel like nothing really happens. There's not really anything going yeah, on. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna fly right through it. Yeah, it's gonna be a quick 20 minute episode today. <laughs> Girl, even the, though the chapter was 50 minutes long. My notes to are to. so I don't know long. How long it was and I didn't even like take like explain i just took like here's the order of operations yeah this is yeah. PEMDAS it's of because this chapter. there there are a lot of things to note in this one there are a lot of things to yeah. note, and i think one of the one of the weakest parts of this book is in this chapter and i'll get to it oh, okay something that joe had to put in because it had she had to wrap it up it had to wrap up in this chapter because there's no good way to wrap it up later I, oh, okay. I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. So the chapter starts out. Remember, we had just uh, traveled through the Pensieve with um, Professor Dumbledore. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we left off. And so um, Harry has gone back to the common room and is dishing with the girlies about what the yeah. fuck happened. As he always does. As he always does. They go, this, this boy makes a beeline for Ron and Hermione anytime, which like. I would do that too. Same. I'm not saying he shouldn't, but Same. like it is, he is consistent. Correct. Um, so he tells them what happened. He also, they note that he sent off an owl too serious. Like as soon as he left Dumbledore's office, which is also very funny to me. Right. Um, beeline straight for the owlery. Yeah. Um, and then he, so they talk about it and Hermione's like, Interesting. So Ludo Bagman sucks. That's very interesting to me. I find that fascinating. Um, and then Ron is kind of like, well, but they said he, he he just made an honest mistake, blah, blah, blah. Yet again, men getting away with who knows what he got away. And like and and specifically like athletes. Yep. Someone in like a position like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just thinking of how many athletes have gotten away with shit, though. Specifically sexual assault. Yeah, but then... I know that's not what Ludo did, but... <laughs> we don't know. We don't know everything Ludo's Maybe he did. Five. <laughs> well, let's not add that. Let's not, let's not add that to the, to the let's list. Let's sully these books with sexual assault. Yeah, oh my God. Uh, Weirdly, one of the only things that doesn't happen in this book series of, like, people being terrible is, like, rape. Yeah. I mean, mm, it's I, it's neither here well, nor there. Little, I'm just saying that it really is surprising. There's a little bit of like pedophilia implied. With <sighs> Gray you back. know who? So not not Voldemort. You know who? Not not uh, you know who? Name? You know who? Well, the, the actual you know who? Fen, the, Fenrir Greyback. Uh, Fenrir, yeah, the werewolf. The werewolf guy, which is just a whole right. other like you're right thing. So. so Ron sticks up from Bagman and then caps it off by being like, "Well, maybe, maybe Maxime did uh, fucking kill." <laughs> just the worst. He is the worst. Ronald. 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 <laughs> you just watched like five <sighs> chapters ago. Hagrid weep openly about how hard it was that the world found out that he's half giant, a thing that is so clear to anyone reading this book series. Is this just her, her empathy? way of, yeah, it, it, it's like she likes to have Ron be the one that has these prejudices because he's coming from the wizarding world. Like she does it. She did it with werewolves. She's doing it with um, the house elf situation. And mm -hmm. she's doing it with giants where like he's the one that's kind of like, oh, no, but like they are. It could be bad or like, but house elves should be house elves. Yeah, what, what, just all of that. the inherent prejudice that the community has in but general I, about specific stuff. 
Yes, but I just don't know if I believe that with what we're supposed, what we have been taught about the Weasleys as a family. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm not saying that's not possible because that's 100% possible that there's like a very seemingly sure. lovely family sure. who is very welcoming to someone like Harry Potter or someone like Hermione Granger, but then has prejudice against someone that's like half giant or a werewolf. Right. Like that's for sure something that can happen and happens a lot in the real world, right. in fact. But it's just weird that like she uses Ron for this because I'm just like, I don't know if that's what if I believe the Weasleys are that type of family like I feel like if his dad heard Ron saying something like that he would be like we taught you yeah and I think more than that that. it's like the, the the frustration is that you can show people you can you have to show people who are bad like we talked about this on Showgaze once where like you have to show negative people as like actual what the the, what their beliefs like you can't <gasps> right with the it was when you were talking about the greatest showman yeah how they like failed to do yes. that yeah you i can't remember. just be like they're just yeah. a mass of angry people and yeah. that's why they're yes. bad it's an angry mob of faceless folks because it gives it gives you <laughs> it doesn't work the chance to be like well i'm not like them so that couldn't be me like you have to give you have to humanize right. them but it's- that's how it is. You can do it. You don't have to do it with your main, one of your three main characters who are your protagonists of the whole series. No. Right? Or if you are going to have one be like that, have like a, a moment. A realization. Or like an, a an, learning. Yeah. Or like an arc. Yeah. A learning a sp- arc. Over this is the, the special, the books, special giant episode of Harry Potter and the <laughs> Beverly Hills High. Like, come on. I just. I will never forgive her for not making Hogwarts the like house elf haven and that shit like still pisses me off when I think about it. So the fact that she's trying to do this shit with giants too still that Ron's like, well, maybe she did do it. I'm just like, stop. Stop. I'm so mad at you for how you're handling these things. (laughs) Please stop. (laughs) So Uh, anyway. And the the other thing too is it starts with Hermione being like, maybe it's Ludo. So then you think what she does a lot of the time is she uses Ron and Hermione to offer yeah, the two perspectives. To go back. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, and then he's right. going to say, no, it's got to be Carcroft because this is who she has set up as the two people we are supposed to believe that it right. is most yeah. likely the thing. That too. And then she just out of yeah. nowhere is like, Miss Maxine, girly, she's the, she's the killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh for yeah, what? I felt really bad for Madame Maxime in this book later on. She she really goes through it. A lot of characters go through yeah. it in this book. Um, Hermione took the words out of my mouth. Like, I would tell people I was big boned too. Yeah. If people had that type of prejudice. Hermione like, went so far. The only thing she didn't say was Ron, shut the fuck up. That's the only thing she <laughs> left out of her, that was the of her that speech. Was the subtext. <laughs> she's right. It's just like. You're literally doing it right now. You're doing the thing that makes her not tell people. Right. Like you are, girl. Ronald. Ronald. I live. (laughs) So Harry keeps his word to Dumbledore and he doesn't tell Ron and Hermione about Neville and Neville's family and the history that we learn. He should. I mean, if he would have done that, dead to me. I mean, he would have been Ron and Hermione, so I would have understood. Like, I, I'm glad he didn't, but I also wouldn't have held it against him if he had like been like, I need you to know something about Neville so we can all as a group be nice to him and include him in the friend group. And then for the next three books, it's <laughs> okay, four well, people. <laughs> if that's the intent, but I'm like, don't tell. Do you know those people in the world? This is not Harry, to be clear. I don't think Harry is like manipulative is a manipulative person so i don't think he would ever do anything like this no he's not yeah he's not really like and not that all manipulative people are smart but no he's he's not not smart enough he's absolutely not smart enough he's not he's not smart enough to be manipulative but just because you're smart and you can be manipulative doesn't mean you should be to be clear i'm not saying like manipulative people are smart this is why it doesn't make sense that he would have been in slytherin because he's not actually cunning no, 
he's just not. Yeah, no, not at all. He's not. He's he really is a jock. Like going through the series has just confirmed that Harry Potter is yeah. a jock, bro. He's a big dumb jock <laughs> who you, shockingly got Pegasus up? Sphinx. Um, wait, what? Where was I going with that? Oh, if he would have told them though to like be like, oh my god, and I have this news about Neville. Like I knew someone like that who just any time they had dirt to dish. Mm. Mm-hmm. It was just like you, there was no way that you could get them to keep their mouth shut. So it was like you wanted to avoid them overhearing anything personal at all cost. Sure. Because or you were dumb to assume at first that like they would keep your secret because they would tell you they would, but then like go right back and so if he was gonna smile in Dumbledore's face and be like, oh no, I won't tell them, only to go and tell Ron and Hermione, I was gonna be a little pissed at him for that. Sure. Just because I feel like that's Neville's story to share. Cause he yeah. He clearly doesn't really want to talk about it because he hasn't told anyone. Yeah. Although I still crazy to me that no one knows. Friends Neville. I know. I don't know how many friends Neville has though, too. It kind of makes me sad. Well, he's got Mad Eye Moody, real good friend. <laughs> Trevor. Trevor. Oh, oh list list the names, girl. Ginny. Gran. 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 <laughs> no, stop. Oh. I'm so sad. Huh? Amazon. Alexa. Stop. <gasps> Grant, she heard you say Grant. <laughs> she wa- She just talked for like five minutes and she was like, let me explain how <laughs> grams work. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I live. I live. <laughs> <laughs> so so Harry Harry has decided for the first time this year that he's going to prepare for the for the task ahead of him, which is very exciting. <laughs> um Yeah. He's like, I did I did it. I actually did it this we time. We love a prepared king. So Pat on the back. we're learning hexes, we're learning charms, we're learning learning spells, we're learning defenses, we're learn we're, we're really just getting tutored by Hermione Granger, is really what we're getting. Yeah, sorry. She has something to say. <laughs> I died when Hermione was like, or was it one of them? One of the trio said, we would have never learned all these uh, spells in class. Correct. Why wouldn't you have? Why wouldn't you be learning these charms at Hogwarts? <laughs> Why wouldn't you be learning these charms in class? Why are you going to Hogwarts? Why are you there then? Like, I literally was like. They did not just say that. J.K. Rowling, you did not write that line. You did not write that. You did not have one of them say that. They are literally at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and they wouldn't have learned those spells in class. I don't believe I don't live. <laughs> I don't live. <laughs> oh my God. I just am like, what are they teaching them in class? How to be cruci uh imperioed? That's it. What are it's we so doing? Stupid. It's so stupid. It literally makes no sense. I was like, you did not just have one of them say that, Joe. It makes no sense. I don't live. So while they're in this classroom practicing whatever, they look out the window and they see Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle. And Malfoy's like under a tree and he's got his like hand up. Oh, I shouldn't do this. He's got his hand up to his face and he's like. <laughs> and Wait, her, Adam, I, look, your nails have reached French tip. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Um, it finally so, happened finally happened so harry's like that's so weird <laughs> it looks like malvoy's talking to walkie talkie and hermione is like i i don't know how many times i can do it in this fucking book one hermione of you fuckers li- has to read hogwarts a history we're we're done preparing for the task and we're reading hogwarts a history out loud to each other right now starting now <laughs> <laughs> everyone stop the third task can wait <laughs> The third task is reading Hogwarts a history. <laughs> I mean, you probably would, it would help you somehow because you're not learning anything in class, apparently. No. 
Um, but we'll come back to that in a moment. So ha- Sirius is worried about Harry's safety. He sends him a letter to be like, <clears throat> I know that you think you're the shit, Harry, but <laughs> someone is out to get you and you're just fucking lucky that Dumbledore is there. So you need to you make need to sure. You need to just focus on this task. You're not going to fucking <laughs> die in this task. Okay. Okay. Got it. Um, I mean. But also fair. at breakfast, the Daily Prophet comes out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's got a, a brand new article from a Miss Rita Skeeter. And in it, it is, it has fully 180'd. On the opinion of Harry. Oh yeah. If the start of the if the start of the year, the article at the beginning was like, Harry is the moment, Harry is everything, Harry is serving, Harry is giving. Now it's like Harry doesn't live. Harry doesn't give. Harry doesn't swerve. Harry doesn't. I don't curve. live. <laughs> <laughs> we don't live. It it knows that he collapsed during um divination. It no. It spoke specifically to Draco Malfoy, and got a quote from him about how Harry is a parcel tongue. It talked to someone from an anonymous source from Saint Mungo's about Harry's scar, and it talked to someone from a department of whatever that we've never heard of and will never hear about again. Yeah, about dark magic and how. Harry's probably into the dark arts. She had th- those were both made up for sure. Those were not she real people. Like, yeah. That was quick quotes mm. quill doing some quilling. Yeah. Improvising. Yeah. Yes. And. Yes. yes. And <laughs> the star, the star of the groundlings, the quick quotes yeah. quill, <laughs> <laughs> the Sunday company. Um, oh my God. So that's, that's the article. Wait. And Harry takes it pretty well. I would say, I actually think he takes it pretty well. And then Hermione is like, I don't know how Rita got this information. She w- And Harry was like, well, the window was open in Divination. She was like, Harry, you were at the top of the North Tower. No one heard through the window. Yeah. Girl, use your well, brain. How, how loud was Harry screaming? Uh, <laughs> well, I was just saying like last time, the fact that he was like, ah! And then he's like, uh, no, I, I just, I have a headache. Like, I was like, you well, were literally writhing around on the ground. Maybe he screamed like his mother. Do you want to remind us of what his mother's <laughs> scream sounds like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that right? It might be yes. even higher than that. Oh, okay. no, I think that's, I think that's right. I have relative. It really pitch. is like a, a whistle. Yeah, I don't have same. perfect pitch, but I have relative pitch. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Jungkook. So, right. Jungkook um, has pitch, not me. So Hermione has this realization where she's like, she's like, <gasps> <gasps> bugging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, then she runs to the. Um, library to find out more because she thinks she's going to nail down how Rita Skeeter is getting all this information. Mm -hmm. I will tell you something. We're not going to come back to this for another month. Just so everybody's clear, (laughs) this will not come back up again. It's that long? Oh, wow. Because next week is Flesh, Blood, and Bone, then the Death Eaters, then Priori and Cantatum, then Veritas Serum, then uh, the parting of the ways, oh, yeah. and then the beginning. It's when we're in the hospital wing. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So it's right. not till oh way after tonight, right. which takes uh, a lot of chapters <laughs> to get through. See you in a month. See you in a month, Virgo Rita. Season. Season um, this is the this is the thing that I was referencing as to how she had to tie that Rita thing up now because there was no. There's no way she could oh. tie it. She can't like finish it all. She had to have something happen in this chapter. I just didn't like that they like looked out the window and Malfoy was talking under a tree into his hand. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, okay. there was a better way, a better way to make that happen. I just would I would have believed it. I didn't even have to see it. I could have believed that he like talked to her. Like they, was there was just, just like, the, the quote already. It was very la it was like thrown in last minute. 
that's how it, it reads. Yeah. Anyway, um You don't like you don't like the fact that he was like talking into I don't like that it's through a window. I really don't Mm, like that it's through a window. That they're just like, we're practicing spells. Let me go look out the window for a moment. (laughs) I don't like let me take take a quick five. So anyway, breakfast. (laughs) Hey, what's going on over there, guys? (laughs) Oh uh hey uh Malfoy, uh he's out there. So breakfast ends and um, everyone, all, all the classes are preparing for the end of year exams, except for the champions. They, they don't get, they don't have to take the year end exams. How, haven't we had this it's discussion very before, lucky but like, how does it's this work? It's truly lucky that Harry in his seventh year does not have to take the newts because there's no way he would, he wouldn't have passed a girl. He wouldn't have passed a damn thing. But like, how is Cedric? How are all, everyone else? Is this Cedric their final is a year? seventh year? What is he just not? How are they not placing for a career? <sighs> so um, the champions end up getting told. Actually, you should need to head back into like the trophy room because your um, family's here. Because uh, the task is tonight. So they get to come right. early and you can spend the day with them before you go do the task. And her and Harry's like, okay. Yeah. Well, you all have fun with your families unless the Dursleys are here. <laughs> There's nobody here for me. Nobody yeah, Dudley, knows how Dudley's close I am to there. the Weasley family here in this school. <laughs> mm-hmm. So then Cedric like pops, he's like gonna go he was going to go to the library so he could like keep studying. And then Cedric popped his head out. and was like, you they're waiting for you. There's like, people in here for you. We we've all been standing around for 15 minutes waiting for you. <gasps> what and are you like, doing? Oh, and then it's Molly and bill, which is very sweet. This is very, yeah. very sweet. And, um, they're so excited to see him. And you know what? Somebody else is excited to see somebody else. Fleur Fleur is like, Who's tall, dark, and long-haired man with the ponytail? Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. (laughs) Bonjour. Comment ça va? (laughs) Ça va bien. Merci. Ça va? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she is trying to... She's trying to send out that Vila signal. We had Quack Monsieur for dinner tonight. RJ made Quack Monsieur and they were What is Quack delicious. Monsieur? It's a ham and cheese sandwich with like a bechamel on top. Oh, okay. I was thinking of what's the egg in the toast, toad and hole? That's what toad in that? the hole. That's British. What was I? Isn't there something they have like that though? Where it's like. Quack Madame? Why was I? Yeah, maybe. Quack Madame is open face with an egg, but it's still like a sandwich. Yes. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Because women have eggs. Ah! 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 So Molly and Bill come on to cheer. (laughs) Ali! (laughs) Ali (laughs) eggs! I birth life! (laughs) I live! I'm this bur- has gone too far. I'm birth lord. <laughs> so they're reminiscing about what Hogwarts was like back in the day for them. So Molly tells this oh, story. Yeah. That's cute. About how she was one time out at four in the morning um, with Arthur on a stroll together. A stroll. A stroll. A stroll. <clears throat> and they were caught by... This is when I know Joe jo loves coming up with names. They were caught by the caretaker at the time whose name was Apollyon Pringle. This is obviously <laughs> before he went on to create his famous uh, chip line called yeah, yeah. Pringles. <laughs> yeah, in the muggle world. <laughs> in the muggle world. Um, and then she says he was caught by him and he's still got the marks. I'm assuming this is 
it seemed that this was a new story to both Harry and Bill, which means they have to be marks that only her, only she can see. So oh, yeah, have, on his ass. Right. He got a whooping. He got something. Um, I mean, they were there. Weren't they there before? They were there after Voldemort, but before Harry's parents. Correct. Because the Whomping Willow situation that we. Yeah. They're like just, I think they're just a few years older than Harry's parents. Yeah. (laughs) They have to be because. Because that was. Because Bill and Charlie are so old. Yeah. I think that was probably around that time punishment at school still was like stuff like that. Which is crazy. Um, although, like, Filch was talking about hanging people by their toes in the dungeons, like, not that long ago. So. Um, so then Amos Diggory is, like, had to open his big mouth and oh. be like, well, I guess you're pretty embarrassed that you and my son are fucking tied, buddy. And Harry's like, you know how I felt about this shit. What? And Cedric is like, Dad, can you be? cool please for one second like, ignore i him. swear to god and then amos is like uh oh and then he says something about how he was like upset that <clears throat> at the article basically and then amos is like yeah but you didn't you didn't say anything to her to make sure that she was aware that blah 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 blah, blah. i'm sorry i should have written a letter in to to an the op-ed. the daily prophet yeah mm-hmm. an op-ed Written to what was the one where people used to always write into a woman? What was it? Uh, dear, dear, dear Alice. No, dear, dear no, Alice. No, whoever it was, dear that bitch, dear bitch, um, <laughs> dear bitch. Uh, I'll no, live. I was, that's a- <laughs> <laughs> it's so I live. <laughs> So they proceed to, they go walk around the grounds. Molly's fascinated by the Whomping Willow because it wasn't there when she was in school. Um, I have a question about a graduation. Do graduations happen in the UK or is that purely an American thing? No, I think they happen in the UK. I don't know if it's the same type of ceremony that we have, but but actually... It's just surprising to me that like she would have had three... Three students of hers, three of her children have graduated from Hogwarts at this point. Yeah. So it's weird that if they, they must not, they can't do. Yeah, maybe they don't. Cause I'm trying to think if Michael and I have ever talked about, like, I've never heard him say the word graduation. Let me ask. Now I want to know. Do UK schools. In the United Kingdom, unlike the United States, students do not usually graduate from school below university level. In fact, in Scotland, final exam results don't usually arrive until August, but school finishes in June or July, so you don't even know what you've achieved or passed until after you've left school. I mean, it's very common over there to do a gap year. I know that. Mm. So... They get back for lunch, and she's obviously excited to see her son. Well, more, her son is excited to see his mom, which is very cute. And then she's like, sees Hermione, is like, oh, hello, Hermione, whatever your name is. I don't quite remember. Hermione. And Hermione's Hermione. like, oh, my God. And then Harry literally has to be like, Mrs. Weasley, you know that she, we're not dating. Also, I'm sorry, didn't Molly just say to Amos he shouldn't believe what she's writing? She just said that to him. And then she's going to act this way towards Hermione. This is another moment where I was like, Joe, you're revealing yourself that like this weird, like petty shit between women crap. I'm just Mm -hmm. like, no, no. What is this? (sighs) So um, then she's fine. I was surprised Harry... I was surprised Harry was that um forward direct. Yeah. yeah. I was like, "Oh, good for you. 
because he yeah. just usually doesn't say stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So they finally are like after after lunch. Then they go around the castle and then they have dinner, which is like an extra big dinner. There's extra co- more courses than usual. Yum. And um, they announce. Though they f- we find out that Cornelius Fudge is filling in for uh, Barty Crouch, not Percy. This man does not have a real job. Because Percy like now under fire because they're like, it looks like the letters that have been sent in might not actually be his handwriting. Yeah. You might want to know that before you start telling people it's definitely his handwriting, but that's fine. <laughs> Not not great, Percy. So they announced that the, the champions have to go out to get ready. So they leave. And they're walking down to the pitch. And I just wrote, it's weird to me that this is June 24th, because for some reason, this feels like fall. <laughs> Does that make sense well, to just, you? I, doesn't June 24th just feel like a long time to still be in school? Especially if they start in September. Like, I'm just like... I, they just must have longer breaks. Maybe they get like a month off for Christmas. Maybe. And like a two week holiday, Easter holiday. Yeah, maybe. Could be. I don't know. It's um, so long. The poor Bobatons and Durmstrang students. They have been uh, in the carriage or on the ship this whole time. In, in Ikea mattresses, you know. You know those are some like cheap... I've never slept on an Ikea man. Oh no, they're bad. I've never slept on one. There are like Terrible. good ones if you pay it's like if you pay the dirt cheap prices for the cheapest mattress they have, it's literally just like a right. piece of like packing foam. Oh, okay, okay. You're like Yeah. Hey. That's what RJ slept on in college. <laughs> um no. which Terrible. explains why he's his body is so mangled yeah. now. <laughs> That's why. Don't sleep on an, on an IKEA mattress, people. <laughs> Um, so they get, they get to the, uh, grounds and everyone starts filing out. And so they tell them like the final rules, which is like, you're finding the cup. First one to get to the cup wins. We're going to be, st- faculty is going to be walking around the perimeter of the maze. So if you get into trouble and you need help, send red sparks into the air. And then you have basically like lost, but we'll save you. Um, how do you, what do you mean? Send red sparks into the air. I just, I just was very curious. Red sparks. Like it was weird that they were like, Oh, just send red sparks into the air. And Harry didn't, wasn't like, sorry, just a quick, just a quick, I'm so sorry. I just, I must not have learned that by my fourth year of schooling here at Hogwarts, uh, which really don't learn anything in class. Clearly learn anything in class. Uh, really says more about the educational system than it does about me specifically, but which is very strange to me. Um, Not my fault. (laughs) So they get to enter into the maze by the order of uh, how many points they've accumulated thus far. And here's where we have to get into it. Yeah. Harry and Cedric are tied in first place. Both of the Hogwarts champions from, quote, Hogwarts School, end quote. Not Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hogwarts School, which I thought was very funny. Um, With 85 points, they are tied. Victor Crumb is in third place with a score of 80 points from Durmstrang Institute. And from Bo Batten's Academy, Fleur Delacour... We don't know how many points she has because they do not say. Just third place. And Fleur Delacour, third place. Adam, you know she couldn't tell us the points because bitch in her head was like, I guess Fleur technically should have won. So, um, But she definitely lost the second one. Well, I can't have, I can't have this girl outshining these men what am, what am i doing here it doesn't even ma- even, the, even the 14 year old boy even the little boy i mean it just is like girl what make up a number that just make up me a number so much even if she is, is that in the last oversight place. you were talking about 
No, I was talking, talking, oh, okay. I was talking about the that's what I Malfoy thought. talking to the fucking, Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about this because I was like, yeah, that was when you mentioned that. That's what I was thinking of. I was like, could it be that? No, I but just was like, oh. annoying. Make up a number. I don't care what the number is. Just proves to 70, me that sixty five. It just proves. I feel like that just gives it away that once again, it's revealing more about Joe than like anything that has to do with the actual plot of this book. Oh, there's a shirtless man across the window. Oh. One moment. One moment. <laughs> Please hold. I live. I live. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, the, the task starts. We're an hour and three minutes into our recording and the task has now begun. <laughs> Harry and Cedric go into the maze, and then at the first fork, they choose different paths. And this is where Harry is like, oh, I'm going to use this new spell that Hermione taught me. It's a compass spell, and it points me north. Do you want to know what the words for the spell are? Now, she has given us, this is a, this is a, per, this is a writer who has given us such spells as Alohomora, Expelliarmus, Expecta Patronum, uh, Avada Kedavra, like spells that but sound also, like spells. But also quietus. Also quietus, <laughs> but you know what? It's still, still, it's still got a flourish. Still better. Still got a flourish. Quietus. You know what this one is? Point me. <laughs> Point me. I said bitch didn't even try. It should have been Why wouldn't she come pussy? <laughs> Come pussy. <laughs> Why? It should have just been like, what's the Latin, the uh, Latin word for direction or something like that? Directivus. Like, Great. I don't know. I've done it. Horrible. Directivus. Directivus. Direct my ass. And even that would have been better than <laughs> point me. Ass. Point me. Point me. I hated it. No. I had to talk about it. Yeah. Um, Boo. I don't Boo know. I didn't feel like going back and looking in the like chapter where they tell them that it's a maze or whatever. Did we know that the center of the maze is where the cup was? I think so. Yeah. Okay. We were too distracted by how Cedric was like, what have they done to the Quidditch <laughs> pitch? <laughs> we didn't really talk. Okay. We didn't really fine. talk about it. Because I kept being yeah. like, why does it, how do we know they, it's the center? What if it's just like in the next, in the off corner? The yeah. Okay. So they need to go to the center. So Harry is like walking through and he's like, I am breezing through this maze, honey. I am absolute. I live. <laughs> I'd like to. I will live. <laughs> why couldn't he like Accio his broomstick? Why couldn't he Accio the cup? Why couldn't he? I am sorry. I need I need Yoon Jung on in the Goblet of Fire because this bitch would find some way to like finagle his way into the lead for every every task. There's no way he wouldn't. Yeah, I. Anyway, it's just a thought I just had. Yoon Jung on. Also, can I ask you another didn't ask question? Him that one time. Oh yeah. <laughs> can I ask a question? Why did this have to be at night? The drama. The drama. Because <laughs> I was like... The drama. Wouldn't this be... At least then they could see if it was during the day. Like, it's not like it makes it easier. You know what I mean? If it's just during the daytime. They still have everything in the maze that they need to get past. It just means that they won't, like, just, not be... Just able so to, it's spooky. Spooky. spooky they want it to be spooky. Me, spooky. So, um... He runs into so he Harry's run into nothing, right? He's just walking around a maze. He's in a corn maze in the middle of like <laughs> yeah. Iowa in this October. Maze is like a maze. He's like, wow, I'm really just sailing through. Um, and Cedric like comes around the corner at one point, and he's like singed, and he was like, oh. I just hot, got away very from. Very hot. It's very hot. His like, you know, his like shirt is open, and oh. yeah, 
It's the equivalent it's like of like, like half a pectoral in 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 the second prequel of Star Wars when Padme's like shirt gets cut like right at the midriff. But this <gasps> yes, is the, this is the men's yes. version of that, and it's yes. like hot. For um, the girls and the gays. For the girls and the gays. <laughs> um, mm. So Cedric just escapes the scroots and he's like, oh, just got away. And Harry's like, that's weird. I haven't, I haven't even like seen any, like I, nothing has <laughs> happened. Like, yeah, that's weird. And lo and behold, he turns around the corner and oh my God, there's a Dementor. <laughs> yeah. And we know how Harry reacts to Dementors. Yes, but yeah. Right. So he's like, oh, I got to uh, expect a Patronum. And then his Patronus happens. So he's mastered. Patron- I mean, at this point, he has literally mastered the Patronus term. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a pro. Because he just knows he can. Because he, he saw into struggle. the future that he could. Yeah. Into the future past. Um, so into he, the future past. He summons his stag. His stag runs at the Dementor. And the Dementor trips and falls. And then he's like, Dementors don't trip. Um, and then he's like, it's a fucking Bogart. Now, as we learned I last year, reading book three, Bogarts live in small, enclosed, dark spaces. <laughs> okay, so fine. So this Bogart now presumably is just chilling in the middle of a maze, hanging out. <laughs> And then bopping around, bopping around, and then in its in its shapeless form. Right, right, right. Just we, which we don't know what that is. We we'll never know. Is. No one knows. Um, Moody knows because his eye. He's the only one. He's the only one that knows what no, a bugger no. looks like. No one asks him. No. <laughs> you know what? Moody probably knew where the fucking <laughs> the chamber of secrets was because he just looked at yeah. the, the floor. Yeah. He said, "These this sink here has a trap door underneath. Does anyone yeah. want to check it out or no? Okay. No? No one's curious? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so Harry meets this Dementor, but it's actually a bogger, and then he ridiculouses it, and it explodes. That seems new to me. I don't know. And then... A few minutes later, he's wa- wandering around, and he comes up to this, like, misty mist. It's giving... Misty mist. It's giving shapeless Miss form. Misty mist. Misty. Misty mist. Little Miss Mist. <laughs> Do you know those, like, little... <laughs> little Miss Mist. Yeah, Little Miss Mist. Um, so he comes to this mist, and he's like, hmm, this seems sus, right? Because, like, it's just a shapeless mist that's just, like permanently placed in one spot Floating, that yeah. would make me so anxious yeah yeah i would go i would have gone another way Ooh. i would have gone another but before way. he steps into the mist he hears a high-pitched scream we're gonna take a guess and say it's probably flirt yeah this is the last time you're gonna hear about fleur delicure which is pretty much i until she kisses someone again. Until she kisses someone and or gets married later in the series. Yeah. <laughs> come back. Come back in a couple of years for that one. So he hears a scream. He steps into the mist to go through it in the mist. What is the, what is what is what is the purpose of this? What is this? Is this a spell? Like this isn't even anything yeah, like anything it? we've ever learned about. This no. is this doesn't this fit in the from? world that she has employed of Harry Potter. This doesn't make any sense. I think it's great. It's a great visual thing. You see it in your mind's eye really well. She writes it yeah. really well, where it's like mm-hmm. he steps in and immediately he's like upside down hanging. Like the sky right. is the floor and the floor is like crazy. Yeah. Wild. Mm-hmm. This is just like a magic that has like never even... God, there's no kind of magic that we've ever kind of even... Well, no, I guess that's yeah. not true. Now, wait, hold on. Now that I'm saying that, it's kind of like the fire he has to walk through in the first book. That's like the closest thing. But even that is different. Because that's more like the the fire for... Um, yeah. S- the flu, flu powder. Network. Yeah. That's what this I was still is say. weird. That's like flu powder. Yeah, like, is that a charm? Is it, like, did you brew a potion and then you, like, wafted it into the air? Is that what Ancient Runes is? Like. (laughs) (laughs) No, not that. 
<laughs> Definitely not that. Is There's this no way a that runes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? That's so weird. Or is it just um what is, it? is it just a unique meteorological event? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just forecasted to be there just that that evening. That's why they had to have it at night. They couldn't do it during the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The meteorologist (laughs) was like, it's only here this day, this year. That's why it has to be on the Quidditch pitch, too. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway, truly weird. Um, so he steps, he steps into it. He realizes that he if he steps takes a foot off, he could fall into the sky and die. He doesn't know, but he is brave enough to take his foot (laughs) off the ground and then he is fine. So it's more just like a psych out. Yeah, yeah it was a psych out. And then he just looks around out. and he's like, hmm. Didn't didn't hear the uh didn't didn't hear any more screams, but I guess I didn't see sparks, but I'm I'm assuming she's probably out if her scream was that loud. I don't know. So then he cut rounds another corner, he meets the scroot. This is the last time we're gonna hear about these scroots in this book. So Thank let's God. all celebrate. This is the last time. I'm so happy. Yay. Um, he be- he beats the screw. He like how? Spell <laughs> he does expel no, he stupefies it while like its underbelly is showing, which is like yeah, soft. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, not not stupefy. He what's the one he he the the impediment charm. Expelliarmus. Impediment oh, charm. Impediment, yeah. So it like stops. Mm-hmm. It like freezes basically. And then he like scampers away. And then around this time, he hears like, you're in a maze, right? There's a there's two parallel paths, but you're blocked by the hedge. So you can't see the path. You just hear it through the hedge. This is very scary to me. I don't like this part. It's very anxious. He hears yeah. Cedric react and be like, what are you, what are you doing? And then he hears Crumb Crucio Cedric through the hedge. And then uh, he can hear Cedric like screams of agony as he's being crucified, basically. So he like, Harry blows a hole through the hedge and like, manages to get enough through that he can like stupefy um crumb takes crumb out cedric's okay they decide to shoot up red spark so he's disqualified and then they like go on their way yeah it's very scary i really don't like that i know it's It's also the layer of like it's very written it's giving what it's supposed to give for sure it's very disturbing (laughs) And also the layer of the fact that they're both 17 and Harry's 14, that just like that age difference in my mind, thinking about being 14 and like how I looked up to 17 years. I just like how you see someone that is 17 at that age. Like, it's just like, that would be so much to take in. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, he reacts really well and thank God he did. He reacted that quickly because I don't think Cedric would have been okay. Well, well, he's not okay for long. So I know, I know. Um, they split off again uh, at the next fork in the road, and Harry runs into a sphinx. Mm-hmm. So Casual. here's here's the sphinx's riddle. Casual. First, think of the person who lives in disguise, who deals in secrets and tells naught but lies. Next, tell me what's always the last thing to mend. The middle of middle and end of the end. And finally, give me the sound often heard during the search for a hard to find word. Now string them together and answer me this. Which creature would you be unwilling to kiss? The answer, as Harry figures out, the person who lives in disguise, deals in secrets, tells not but lies, is spy. Tell me what's always the last thing to mend. The middle of middle, end of the end. That's the letter D. Last thing of mend is D, middle of middle, end of the end, D. And then the sound often heard during a search for a hard to find word is er, but only because this takes place in the UK. Yeah. Because if this was America, it would be um. uh. 
<laughs> or yeah, or, uh, um, uh, um, or uh, spy um, dumb, spy dumb, spy dumb, spy dumb. So it yeah, wouldn't I have worked that here. Was a huge, huge thing when we read the book that I like questioned my mom about. I was like, er, er, we don't say er. er. She had to explain that's what they say, which Michael does. Like he'll text like erm when he doesn't know what to say instead of um. It's E-R-M. weird. It's weird yeah. and it's er. wrong. And just remember that. <laughs> We are correct. We're doing Americans are doing it the right way. The right way. So the word is spider. Said no one ever. You can't say that for anything. We're not doing anything Truly. the right way. You know the only thing we're doing right in America? The only thing? Ranch dressing. That's it. That's the <laughs> only thing we have going for us. <sighs> so he passes his Sphinx. Congratulations to Harry. Maybe he could have been a Ravenclaw, having to answer a riddle to get into his common <laughs> yeah. room every day. Um, he isn't it so funny that right after he goes past the Sphinx, he meets up with Cedric, and then they get attacked by a spider. Why? Is you that know what so this funny? is giving? Do you know what the? Because it's spider. He just said spider, and now it's like he oh, called one oh, to exist. He spoke it into. I thought you were saying. I thought you were saying something about the like that the Sphinx was that close to the end. Never mind. <laughs> no, but this actually does really remind me of um, hair. Uh, I'm sorry, Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. Oh yes, the Shelob. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's like penultimate yeah. thing right before you have to get to your final task. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So this whole sequence with like basically Aragog happens. It's not Aragog. It's we don't even it's think an it's, Aragog offspring. Yeah. It's probably. Um, it has to be. He was the only one that had all those babies in there. Well, but Aragog is one of those. It's like a kind of spider. It's like one of those mega, mega whatevers. No, I know. But but any of the spiders that are in the dark forest, which I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's probably got, where Har- it, Hagrid it would have got to be, it. Yeah, yeah. It you know Hagrid brought this in. Aragog. And his wife, what was his wife? Remember Aragog had a wife? What was her name? Oh, Mosag. Mosag. <laughs> it was the the offspring of Aragog and Mosag. Mosag. I hate that I know that. So <laughs> they a, like the most terrible name I've ever heard, Mosag. <laughs> so they fight this spider. Yeah. Harry and Cedric. Yeah. At one point, Harry is picked up by the spider. He's like yeah. bitten. And then like he hits him with Expelliarmus. I don't know what Expelliarmus is going to do to someone that doesn't have a wand in their hand. Because that's the point. It's a disarming charm. But you you do you, Harry. Whatever they're you do you. Um, I don't know. And then he is dropped. By the spider, his leg, the word is crumples, which is not what you want to read when you're reading a no. book. Not a crumpled no. leg. Not All I can think leg. of is like an accordion, like just like, <laughs> like very <laughs> like yeah. Wally Coyote when he like gets hit with an anvil. <laughs> yeah. Um, breaks his leg, presumably, and then... Cedric and Harry hit it with stupefy together and the bitch is knocked out. Mm. She's taken right. out. And then we have a really long sequence. And by that, I mean, it's like three paragraphs, but it's long enough of like both of them deciding how are we, the, the cup is right there. Who's going to go get it. So first Cedric's like, you can have it, Harry, because you saved me twice and Harry's like, mm-hmm. my leg is broken. I'm not getting up. So you <laughs> can go so get the cup. He sprained his ankle. And Cedric's like, no, no. I could never have fa- fought the dragons if you hadn't helped me. And Harry says, but no, no. I could never have figured out the mermaids if you hadn't told me. And Cedric says, but oh, no. I was given help about the egg clue. Hmm. We'll come back to that later. 
And yeah. Harry says, but oh no, I have no, I have no more reasons. You're right. I should, I should absolutely take, take the cup. I'll You're take right. it. Okay. <laughs> if you insist. Okay. I'll get it. And then they kind of decide together. It's very, it is nice. It's a nice moment where they both decide that they're going to take it at the yeah. same time. Um, yeah. I don't like that Harry was like, I can't believe that Cedric's going to give up the glory that Hufflepuff hasn't had in centuries. And I was like, centuries? <laughs> it's been a long time, girl. Centuries. You know what? We still eat the best. We're right by the kitchens. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. We have and the then, coziest common room. Exactly. So they go. Cedric like helps him up. He's hobbling with him over to the cup and they grab it at the same time. And the minute they touch the cup, they feel violently pulled from their belly buttons and flown through the air together. And that is where we leave the chapter. They are transported, mm -hmm. but we don't know to where. Mm -mm. Probably just the, just the outside of the, they don't have to walk back all the way through the maze. Right. I would just assume it's just back to the front of the maze. Oh, yeah, just right out to the front. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Great. Done. I still don't know why they couldn't just Akio the cup. Well, because that's got to happen later. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that that's it happens it. later. That's it. That's the chapter, worse. babes. <laughs> that's it, babes. Uh, well, that wraps up this chapter. Next week, we will be reading chapter 32 called Flesh, Blood, and Bone. Uh, we do not have a quick, review. Quick chapter, quick chapter. Yes. Flesh, Blood, and Bone is very quick. Uh, you can find the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you find your podcasts, as well as video versions on the Ampliverse YouTube channel and Spotify. As always, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe so that we can get a perfect newt score, five stars only, or else you'll have to battle against a spider or a scroot or solve a sphinx riddle or have mm -hmm. to deal with crumbs, scary, scary, spooky ass. Or a boggart. Way. Explode a or boggart. A, or a boggart just hanging out in the maze. <laughs> just uh, out for a little walk. No one has better anything. reaction times than a boggart. He like rounded the corner and it was already a Dementor. Transformed. Talk about improvisation. Talk about method acting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at HP Anxious, Instagram at HP Anxious, YouTube at The Ampliverse, and TikTok at The Ampliverse as well. We are hosted on Anchor and recorded on Zencaster, so thank you to both of them, and are a proud member of The Ampliverse. Check them out at TheAmpliverse.com. Thank you, Adam, for that very, very long chapter. My pleasure. And as always, I live! <laughs> <laughs> I could hear it. I could hear it reverberating in your headphones. I love. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>